Hello friends, I hope you are well. In this video, I will show you how to install a free SSL certificate to your website that you host uh, through a VPS. Uh, on this video, I will show you with uh, my uh, VPS on Hostinger with Linux distribution Ubuntu. But if you have a different uh, di uh, Linux distribution, there is no issue with that. If you, I will show you with Apache server, if you have a different a web server, it's also possible to get free SSL for your website, for your domain name, and I will show you how to do that. Let's start. Okay, so the first thing is that uh, I will show you the, 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 the result first. So basically, at the end of this, uh, of this tutorial, you should be able to have an SSL certificate for your website. How, we sh how you will see it it will be displayed with this lock, which means like a sign or with a certificate. You see a valid certificate here. You can click on this certificate and see um, the validity dates and you can see the issuer statement. And if you click on it, you will see that the issuer is a certificate authority called Let's Encrypt that you probably heard of it. Uh, this certificate authority is very generous because they provide free certificates for your domain name. On my side, uh, I have uh, multiple uh, domain names, multiple websites on the same VPS, and I, uh, I just, I have one certificate dedicated for each domain name. So I have four domain names at the time I make this video, so I have for certificate issued with this uh, certificate authority. So that's great. Uh, by the way, the shared hosting are doing exactly the same. They are using this certificate authority to generate free SSL. And after they say to the customer, hey guys, uh, we give you free, but only for the first year. But actually it's free and it's free every day. Not every day, every year, uh, there is no uh, nothing to pay as long as you know how to install it, okay? So let's see how to install uh, this certificate. So basically, uh, to get started, I will put all the links in the description of the video if you want to have a look. So first, you need the... You need the Let's Encrypt. So Let's Encrypt tell you, you need to, uh, to issue the certificate you need Certbot. So Certbot is a kind of software that will be, uh, that will allow us to issue the certificate. So you need to have it installed first. So first you need this Certbot. Okay. It is, this is not like mandatory, mandatory, but definitely I needed it. So uh, you should uh, follow the instruction, especially if you are on uh, Ubuntu or some distribution that are covered by Certbot. So you go to the Certbot. Um, website. So this is the instruction of the cell box. Okay. So when you arrive to the cell box, uh, instruction, then you need to select which server, which web server you are running your website. So for me, it's Apache. Usually it's Apache, but if you have any others, it's also possible. So I select Apache. Then you select the system that you are running your Apache server. So for me, it's Ubuntu 20.04. So for me, it's on a Hostinger. So um, yeah, so I select Ubuntu 0.04. And then after, you just have to follow the instructions. So first, you have to install SnapD. For me, it's already installed. So this part, uh, I will not show you, but you just need to run this command. Um, and then you need to install Certbot by just uh, running the install classic self but this this command just uh, the same thing it will be working so basically however you uh, you install self bot you need you just need to have it uh, so um, I uh, yeah for me I, I think I use apt to install self bot uh, but the recommendation is to use uh, those commands okay and uh, the snap command so that's it for the, for the servbot. Once it's installed, okay, you need to ask 
server to issue the certificate for your website that are running on your Apache server. Don't worry, Servbot is doing, uh, will do almost everything automatically. So you need to run this command, servbot dash dash Apache. So I will run it just to, uh, to show you, even if on my side it has already been run. So I run it, servbot dash dash Apache. And what will happen? Actually, servbot will have a look at your Apache configuration and well and will scan all the websites, all the domain names that are in your current Apache configuration. On my side, we found uh, eight webs eight, eight domain names, but actually you can see that they are repeating. They are the domain name and after there is www dot and it's repeating like that. So actually there are only four domain names that are running on my VPS and Sailboat just found them and proposed to me, which one do you want me to issue the certificate? Actually, the certificates have already been issued that way with, uh, earlier with, uh, with, with Sailboat. But still here, you need to uh, select which one you want to uh, issue the certificate. So I can select, for example, uh, Mark Brewer Sky. So number five, I click five and then Servbot is quite clever because he found that there is already a certificate dedicated to this domain name. He, he already issued it, basically. So he asked me, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to reinstall the existing certificate because you already have it on your distribution? Or you want me to issue a new certificate? This is still free, but be careful that this is limited to five per seven days. Okay? Or still, uh, you don't need to, uh, to issue uh, every day a certificate. Uh, normally, it's only at expiration, and there is a process uh, ongoing on the um, Linux distribution, which automatically, at expiration, will renew the certificate. Okay, so for me, uh, it's already issued, so I will click Cancel at that stage. But for you, you just uh, follow the instruction, and what will happen when the, the process is completed, actually, you will get your certificate. So check that your certificate have been issued. So where are the certificate? They are in this directory. So we'll have a look at this directory right now. And in this directory, you can see four folders that are uh, attached to each of my domain name. So uh, I can have a look at the content of one of them, for example, G declare. And you can see that in this directory, you have uh, four files, four links that are um, actually the certificates file, uh, public key, private key, etc. So those, uh, those information are your certificate. Now the question is how to uh, tell Apache ser the Apache server to use those certificates in order to have the HTTPS. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. So you need to go first to your Apache configuration. Now, uh, before I, I said that, but if you complete the, the, the Servbot uh, certificate issuance, then Servbot will propose you to configure for you um, the Apache server. So we will just update and create new file in the seats available and seats enabled in order for you to use directly the, the certificate. Or you can tell Servbot, I want to configure myself, but make sure that Servbot is not creating some file in seats enabled. Um, that's what I'm going to show, you, to show you here. So go to your, uh, the Apache configuration. Like that. Okay. So me on my side, I put all the configuration in the same file. So all my websites are configured in the same file. It's more simple like me. Uh, but if you have like a different file for each of the of the domain name, this is fine as well. This is exactly the same approach. So. Let's have a look at how all my configuration 
are in that one. Okay. So in this file, you will see all the uh, non HTTPS uh, domain name and the HTTPS domain name. So basically, when you see, for example, uh, port 80, this means uh, non HTTPS. Okay. And what I'm doing uh, on my side is that I do a redirection, a forwarding that every time uh, we request a non HTTPS uh, website, then I redirect to the HTTPS one. You see, this is this link of the redirection. And this redirection actually will go to the end of my file where I'll store actually all the HTTPS uh, um, domain name configuration. So you can see port 443. Port 443 is a port for the HTTPS, right? Okay. So uh, you can see that those two file, two, two lines actually make the, the link between the Apache server and the um, HTTPS, the, uh, the SSL certificate. So you see the SSL certificate stored in this directory, uh, slash etc, slash let's encrypt, slash live, slash the name of my domain name and the full chain. So that's, uh, I think, the public key and the private key just uh, just below. So those are the two lines that are staying. This is, uh, we are using the, 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 SS, the SSL. And this one includes, let's say, option SSL Apache configuration. Okay, so I think those three lines are the one that you need to have in order to have the HTTPS activated, enabled for your website. And you can see that I have different certificate for each of my website that are stored in different directory. And that's how it is. You can see here the second domain name. You can see the third domain name and the fourth domain name. So if I go back now, and if I type, for example, a non HTTPS, it will forward directly to the H to the HTTPS. So to summarize, First, uh, you need to understand that you need uh, um, certificate issued by Let's Encrypt Certificate Author Authority. If you try to create your own certificate with Linux without any certificate authority, this is possible. I tried it, but this will not be recognized by uh, any of the browser. It will say, "Hey, yes, this is a uh, this is uh, uh, this is SSL, this is HTTPS, but this is not issued by a certificate authority." So you need a certificate authority, is a, there is only one at this stage that uh, give you it for free. This is Let's Encrypt. So first thing, Let's Encrypt, you need it. Second thing, the, the cert bot. The cert bot is the tool, the command that you need to install on your distribution in order to, uh, to, rec to request and issue those certificates and collect it and install it. And last thing, you need to make sure that this certificate is installed on your Apache server. So you have to go to your Apache configuration and change it uh, or check that certbot change it properly. And last thing, of, of course, you need to restart your uh, Apache server that you know how to do it. If you don't know, check my other video. Uh, if you have any question, just put in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I wish you a very happy day. Bye -bye.